All right, today we're gonna, I'll show you how I paint a, the basic uh, perch pattern on a, a crankbait. We're gonna start, I got these, the 1.5s I offer on my website, dakotalakestackle.com. Uh, what I like to do, I got the bait here, they're perfect, you don't have to do any prep work to them, just tape off the bill, like I've already got this one ready, already taped off and ready to go. That's, I just use blue painter's tape, tape the bill, stick it in a little alligator clip there and we'll start I like to start all my baits with a, a white base coat. Alright, so once we got that, I, every between every coat of paint I always uh, use a blow dryer to heat set the paint and that's recommended by Cretex. But So after we get the white done, well, I like to got a pearlized yellow that I use, a pineapple I believe it's called. Just cover the whole bait in that then. I guess you don't have to worry about the bottom, but we'll come back and that'll get a little bit of white down there. So just cover it with the yellow. A lot of that will be covered again with other colors. but So after after the yellow I like to go with a little bit of green. It's nice to have uh, reference photos of actual fish if you're going to try to try to paint an actual to, to simulate an actual fish I guess. So I, I like to go on the internet and get a lot of reference photos as many as I can. I got them hanging up around in my little s spot here where I paint. So. Yeah, I just kind of hit a little green along the sides there. Not a whole lot, just enough to let you know that it's there. I do the same on both sides. <clears throat> there you can see the kind of little bit of green I put on the sides. I don't know if you can see it that good, but it's there. Next I go in with a little gold, just a little bit to highlight some of the bottom part of that green. Once again, it's kind of hard to see on the video here, but it's down there. Just kind of, it's a pearlized gold, so it, it gives the bait a nice effect in the water. Next thing I like to do, I like to I put a uh, scale masking that I sell on the website. It, this is a fine scale mask. It'll give the effect of uh, really hard to see through here, but of uh, the scale pattern. You know, it's kind of got a little diamond pattern, and I use alligator clips to attach it. So I'll do that quick. And so now you can see I got. Uh, I got the bait covered with the scale masking held on by the alligator clips. You kind of got to want to be careful so you don't uh, scratch the bottom with the alligator clips. But yeah, like I said, I offer the scale masking on the website, uh, dakotalakestackle.com. So you can find that, and I got some larger scale masking as well. So check that out along with all the other crankbaits that I have to offer. And eyes and split rings and hooks will be coming. So next I got a little gray color here that I use and uh, I use a comb that I got stole from my wife and I use that to put the lines on for the, the stripes on the fish and just lightly line it up so you know you'll once you do a few of them you'll know where to put it but just lightly hit it that's all there is right there and do the same on the other side and once you if you need to you can put it up and look on the other side if you need to Make sure you're lined up good, but it, usually on, on these baits, on these 1.5s that I offer on the website, they got uh, the gill plates kind of raised, so if I like to line it up just with the edge, this first stripe's going to line up with the edge, so usually it works pretty good on both sides. So there we go, both stripes done on each side, and then I go on the top and just kind of blend that and 
blend it on the sides on the way down. Fade it down the sides. Like I said, if you got a good reference photo, it'll help. And the perch might be different, you know, at the lake that you fish compared to up here. They might have more green or more yellow or even brown in them, so. But basically, I mean, if I'm primarily bass fish, but that doesn't mean that these, these lures, whatever you paint, won't catch any kind of fish, whatever you're into fishing for, so. Experiment with whatever colors work best on your lake and go from there. There's that. That's kind of hard to see. The actual detail of the scale masking. I don't know if you can see that really, but... I'm having a hard time focusing, but... It's there. It looks pretty good. And then, So next I like to do... I like to go back to the bottom and put a little white, clean that up a little bit on the in case you would have scratched it with your alligator clips or anything, but just basically kind of clean up the bottom a little bit. Now like I said, this is this is how I paint a perch and it works good for the lakes up here and I, I primarily fish in the uh, central Minnesota lakes for bass in the summer so I mean like I said whatever works for you you might find out this might this exact pattern might work well for you or or maybe a few different tweaks modifications here or there will work but I like to put a little orange under the the throat here I got a, a fluorescent a fluorescent sunburst this one's called from Cretex. It just kinda get it along the, the throat and maybe fade it up the side or just a little bit on just to give the effect because the perch they kinda got orange on their fins a little bit, but I don't put fins actually on these baits. I mean you can if you want, but I figure if you got this orange, this little throat patch of orange down here, it looks pretty nice. So, there's basically it. So, shoot. I got a pearl white in here, which is basically just a, in my opinion, just a kind of a top coat that uh, adds a nice little shine once it hits the water. spray a little bit on the bottom there and so here's the bait all boy, I wish I could all done now we just need to add eyes and, and a clear coat now clear coat options there's a few different options out there you know you could use a, a two-part clear epoxy there's a few different moisture cure urethanes out there that's what I like to use that dries up real nice um, you could if you got something that your grandpa used to use back in the day, that'll work too. But all we got to do now, like I said, put the eyes on. And I offer eyes on my website at also, dakotalakestackle.com. And uh, like I said, we'll clear coat it and get back and and uh, show you once it's all done. The clear coat gives it a nice shine and makes the bill a little uh, better as far as durability-wise. So, well, we'll get her all cleared up and, and come back. So here's our, our bait that we painted yesterday, the 1.5 and the perch. It's uh, all clear coated and got the hooks attached and everything ready for pictures if you're going to sell it or uh, get it tied to the end of your fishing pole and start fishing. It uh, looks great, nice and shiny. That clear coat does wonders when as it comes to just the overall looks of the bait. And uh, well, thanks, thanks everybody for watching and look forward to... Making more videos to help anybody out.